The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by a man who was undrafted out of Buffalo, standing at six foot seven. It's Tyree Jackson. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth shattering, but it didn't need to be. Hey, check, check. Three, up. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 17 carries, 70 yards, and a touchdown. 11 touchdowns on the ground this season, and the pride really extends throughout the entire offense. And in this case, I'm focusing on the offensive line. The leverage, the ability to get downfield, make that extra block in order to give him more space to run. They really look forward to him carrying the football. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And his guys are going to time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first down. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now a carry, it's C.J. Anderson. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he'll be taken. They run again on first down. Anderson. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now let's take a look here at the Bills offense. In the NFL, we love to talk about bloodlines and how important they can be. And for Zay Jones, he's got a terrific one. His dad, Robert, longtime linebacker in the NFL, big time with the Dallas Cowboys. And his uncle, Jeff Blake, a starting quarter. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. <laughs> Throwing is Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And Henry's hit. He lost the football. And he's going to get this to about the right hash. 37-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through over. Leading him out is their six foot three quarterback. The third overall selection in 2018, Sam Darnold. And no excitement unless you, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork finding the right targets, and bottom line, how do they get a win? Give them 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. They run on second down with McGuire, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And we take a look now at the New York offense. Former fourth-round pick out of Duke is Jameson Crowder. Now, he doesn't grab a lot of the headlines, but he's been quietly dependable for his first three years in the league. Shifty. Excellent route runner from the slot position. Finds his way open and catches the football. Yeah, he's dependable. Quarterbacks love to throw to him. And he's got a new 39-yard line. On first down, here's McGuire. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Second down and four. Darnold. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No call. And it's third down. This is how they'll line up on the defensive side for Buffalo. 
against the pass, they've had some issues, ranked number 23 in the NFL right now. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw is Darnold. Oh, he almost picked it. Try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And I don't think this has the care come the Bills as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And for them right now, not a done deal. So they are holding down one of the final wild card spots. And with two weeks to go, there are others kind of nipping at their heels a bit. And imagine what the talk has been all week within their locker room. And it's really, let's rely on ourselves because they could get help and still get to the playoffs. But who wants that? Go out. A first down carry for Henry. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. We're going to look now at the defense for the New York Jets. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. They've established themselves pretty well throughout this season. But boy, what a competitive group of people. They do not like that ranking they have now because they think that they're better and they're out to prove it again in this game. Watch the boot, watch the boot. Back to the ground. This time it's Anderson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And that is incomplete. Four-yarder back in 2013. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is off target to the left. God, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A first carry for Trenton Canna. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Darnold on third down. And it has got it complete. And he's going to get this one down to the... They went out there and, and the Patriots had a guy come out and clear a spot on the field for their field goal kicker to kick the game winner. Is that 82? That was 82, and the Dolphins fans will never forget it. Well, we're not seeing one of those famous games here, but it's fun to be in the snow nonetheless. From the 17, Darnold. Blitz coming on on EA Sports. The Jets on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 16. Darnold. And it's caught by Herndon. Here's Darnold. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Darnold going to give this to McGuire. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive. But right now they need five yards on this. And they're going to get him. They... The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that... They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones. Not having balls go through goalposts. Trying to lay one up deep. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Jackson throwing again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, Jackson. And that'll be in. Keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, the running back, McGuire. And he'll be taken down, but not before. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. This one caught by Crowder. 
Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now it's Donald under pressure, and he... Faking the give, Darnold. Oh, a battle for it here, and this two-yard line. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Got an open man, it's a noon one. First down. A give to McGuire. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On the handoff, it's McGuire. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The Jets on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're up against a third and one situation. Back to throw, Darnold. Throw complete to Hearn. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They'll run. This is Cannon. And forget about finding a nine touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Herndon hauls it in for the Jet touchdown. For now, is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the... And Jackson cannot get away. They'll flip this quickly out to Beasley. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Now Jackson. That one complete to Anderson. Give him some reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Now Darnold. Herndon's got it complete. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Darnold now to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. So the failure to connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Darnold. On the catch, it's Crowder. Darnold goes draw play to McGuire. On second and 12, Darnold, he's got Herndon, his tight end. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Third and two, Darnold. And oh, he took that in one hand down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. To take the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show him one thing, hit him with something else. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first and ten, Darnold. It's the tight end, Herndon with it. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. That's going to set him back five yards. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Darnold 
from the gun. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. And the punt team on now as this one set away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here we go. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And he is going to be stopped cold That's behind it, the line of scrimmage. He lost two there. And it's third down. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long to throw is Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The Bills send the punter out, standing just outside his own goal line. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The New York set to take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Now a pass taken in by the tight end Herndon. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Darnold on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw is Darnold. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. down Darnold and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down from the 24 they'll go again on second and 10 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to work his way down to the 16. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. A shotgun snap for Donald. Open man left side. That's the tight end, Herndon. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Jerry Hughes able to record his fifth sack of the season. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. A gain of three, second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, it's Henry. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Sam Darnold leading the offense out for their next possession. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side, you know? And in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game, but that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Darnold, and he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. 
And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. time to the tailback. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. <laughs> Off of play action, Darnold. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And his guys are going to have the football back as the third quarter comes to an end. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. After the interception, here's Jackson. This complete to Jones. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. The New York set to take the field. Now listen, it's a team game. We know that. But where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? So they take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again. But on offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right. You just mentioned it. The defense did it again. They bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. Out of the gun, they'll run with McGuire. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Here's Darnold. Completes it to McGuire out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. They'll run on first down with Cannon. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They go again with Cannon. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now it's Darnold. Gets this one to Hill. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And it's caught by Herndon. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They run with McGuire. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah McGuire, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it now yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time? Hopefully with a chance to win. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Jackson. A dump off to Anderson. Give him three on the play, and it'll be a second down. And Jackson throwing once more. Throwing over the middle. And it's incomplete. He was looking for the running back, Derrick Henry, and it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And the grab by Croft. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll Let's go, go on fourth down. Let's go, defense. Oh. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. He completes it to Bryant. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And this one caught by Beasley. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Jackson will throw again. And he finds Beasley complete. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. To throw again is Jackson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Brian Poole that time there to get a hand on it. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Now Jackson going to throw again. That'll be taken in by Anderson. Seven yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. The Bills on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. Here it's third and three. Screen play, Anderson. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. 
Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. To throw is Jackson. Throwing on fourth down. It's brought in by Dachson. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. They'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. On second down, here's Henry. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And that's caught by Beasley. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Here's Jackson. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Again, Jackson. And it's caught. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. The field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. And that will be caught by Jones. He's got a Buffalo touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and the Bills get a bit closer. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up, it's good. That'll make the score line 20 to 10. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And now the Jets are going to get this one, and that might be all she wrote. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The New York set to take the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll run right here with McGuire. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a give right side to McGuire. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. 
The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. And that knee will do it. So they snap the losing streak. Always a good feeling. Yeah, I don't know if this one right here when they're taking a knee is as much exultation as exhalation, right? They just breathe a sigh of relief. Finally got a win, needed one desperately. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one. No doubt. But it's a double bonus when you get a victory on the road in your division. And when you start a season, each team breaks down their schedule in different ways. Some do it every four games, right? Let's go quarterly. Others say, listen, we've got...